Hello, welcome to Making Photos. I'm Ian M. Butterfield. This is the second part of my video on uh, Lightroom workflow. If you haven't seen part one, you'll find the link somewhere uh, up there on the screen. Um, please have a look at that first because this really does follow on. In that video, I looked at the first three steps in my workflow. That is importing, geotagging and adding basic metadata. In this video, we pick up where we left off with step number three, keywording. So on to keywording. I hate doing keywording. So I've tried to sort of speed this up and make it a little bit more easier for myself. First thing I've done is I have assigned a filter at the top here, um, which allows me to specify by uh, country, regions, etc., etc. So if I look at the Spain ones, for example, I can, I've only got Gran Canaria, Las Palmas, but I've got the three different regions I specified, which means I can just concentrate on one section at a time with keywording without having to do all of them all at the same time. Secondly, if I go back to the, the studio ones, I've set up a lot of um, keys on my uh, uh, stream deck to, uh, to help me automate this whole process. So I can look through there and say, right, yes, all those images are of Naomi. So I can go select all and go up to keywords. And I've divided my keywords, if I show you the list, into different areas. I've got these different areas um, for keywords, where, who, what, when, why, and how. And those correspond to the different areas here in my, uh, my keyword list. So let's go back to the images of Naomi in the studio and look at these different areas that I've got keys on my Stream Deck for. Um, where, who, what, when, why, and how. The who is important when it comes to a studio shoot. So let's go into the who section. And this allows me uh, to very quickly assign basic keywords. So they're all Naomi, so I will go woman, and it applies the woman keyword to everything. Uh, in the blue section, it's about ages. And I happen to know that at the time of the shoot, Naomi was in her 20s. I can apply that. We let that go through. She is a model. And her ethnicity is East Asian. Uh, so let that. So you can see that's a very quick way of assigning basic um, keyword information go up then the what so then under what we've got various areas depending on different uh, types of things so for example uh, studio props now i don't know with this shoot uh, with naomi whether any of these props came into play yeah we've got um we've got the chair here which is in shot so i can highlight those and wooden chair and apply that. None of the other predefined ones are actually in there for that, but I can see an umbrella and I know that if I go over to here and go umbrella, I can select red umbrella and we've got this transparent one, which isn't one of the specific ones, so I can just say umbrella for that. So I can now go back up. The why section are things to do with emotions and actions. So I've got some general ones and I have got some uh, studio ones. So let's look at the studio ones first of all. And this is things like standing and sitting. So I can see here that in all of those, she's standing. So highlight those and say standing. Here we've got seated ones. So I'll just scroll down. Yep, all of those are sitting and standing again for all of those. 
And why would I apply those? It just helps me locate the right image at the right time. So there's lots of other things going on with here, which I haven't got predefined keys for. Uh, so I would say we need the keyword clown on all of these. So I can just come over and go clown and apply that. And we've got this custard pie. So let's uh, find that pie. Down. Uh, slapstick, pie fight, pie in the face. So all those apply, pie fight, um, that would do. Uh, so now emotions, and this is worth um, looking at because mime and clown is all about emotions so we've got a couple of sad ones up here and we've got happy with these and i think then it's the sad face clown really with some of these let's say sad on there so again, I've, I've been applying things which will help me find these images when I need them. So go back up my list. Uh, it's emotions done. So finally, the how. Now, this is all photographic genre stuff. And the first thing on the top of here is studio backgrounds. So let's go into there. And you can see I've got yellow backgrounds. So highlight all the yellow ones. Yellow background. Now, the next one, although it appears to be black, it's actually a gray background. So I can highlight those and go gray background. Then the greens to green background. And again, those are useful sometimes if I want a particular color, want to illustrate how a, a particular color background can be used. Uh, having those assigned uh, will help me do that. So that's the backgrounds applied. Uh, then photo genres, and these are all concept ones. So I look down at my list and see, yikes, I haven't got concept on there. That's not a problem. Come over here and search for genre. And we can see I already have a concept keyword on there. I just haven't programmed it in on here. So what do I do very quickly is I go over to the stream deck and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick one of these. So I will copy travel, paste it, change the title to concept. And you can see here the command that I've created for this. I just give it the full name 06 photographic genre concept. And minimize that out of the way. Now you can see it's appeared on the stream deck. I hit that button and we will see over here that will now highlight. Yep, they're all highlighted as concept images. And now I've done that once, it's available as a quick uh, a quick fire button uh, for the future. So I think that's all the keywords assigned to uh, uh, Naomi. And I've gone through like that. So now I know all those are done, go up my list, make sure select all, and I can just say keywords done. And that takes off my workflow keywords, as you can see. Now I've still got ones um, in here, 89 of them. And I look up here, all the UK ones are done. It's the Spain ones that haven't been. And it's the same, it's the same process. So I'll just get on and finish those off for the rest of it. And then we'll come back and I'll take you on to stage four, which is all about selection. Right, so I think that's all the keywords applied. Um, I did one or two corrections to spellings as I went through as well as spotted in the title. 
Um, so now I can select all of those, Control A, and keywords done. So now that's section three done. We're, those are tend to, that tends to be the longest and slowest section. Now we've got the selection section. The way I have this set up is I've got options here on the Stream Deck, which will help me do it. You can see here, I've got three keys together, uh, previous, next, and uh, flag. So what I do is I go into full screen and I start looking through, and if it's one I want, I hit the pick key. So no, uh, that was just a setup shot. Oh yes, I have that one, have that one. Yes. Move on. Yeah, that's not bad. Eh, not so sure on that one. Leave that one. That's the better one there, so pick that. No. Possibly. Yeah, that's the better one of the two. Uh, doing the mime routine. Like that one. Yeah, possibly. Pick that one. So anyway, I'm going to uh, continue through these images and, uh, and do my selections. So now we're moving on to the images in um, Gran Canaria and go through, work out which ones of these I want. So that's all the selections done. I've gone through and I've applied that pick flag to the photos I'm interested in. So let's just have a look at the collections over here. Ignore the top two, but the uh, selection is everything that's got the tag to it. So that's all the images. Not selected the those which haven't got the pick flag on. Selected are the ones I've decided I want to do some of those. So let's just have a quick look at those. And those are the ones I'm going to process. So I've gone down from 185 images that I'm dealing with down to 75. The 110 that I'm not interested in I can now go onto there, select all of those, and I, I don't need, I'm not going to do any more work on them. So I can go through and take off all these other steps because they're not selected. Therefore, I'm not going to do proofreading or output or additional metadata or consider them for the library. I'm not going to develop and rate them. And I have just done that selection process of, right, let's get rid of them. So get rid of that. So that's it, down to 75 images. So now with those, again, Control A, and I can take off the selection flag on there. So now I move down to step five, develop and rate. So again, I'm going to leave the video at this point. Come back next week for part three. And once it's published, you'll find it up on the screen here. And down below is a playlist of all my other Lightroom tutorials. So until next time, thanks for watching and keep making great photos. Bye for now.